subscribe to the channel. If you've subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, just click on that subscribe button and you can join me. Right, lots of talk um, on forums and Twitter about buying certain kinds of clubs. Do you need to buy expensive ones? Can you buy cheap ones? So, I've been contemplating for a couple of weeks looking at whether to buy a 60 degree wedge. Reason being is that obviously I'm just close to the green and if I've got my sand iron out, I'll probably just duff it. Or if I've got my pitching wedge, I might overhit it. Now, I have done a video before on a 60 degree wedge and I couldn't really hit it very well. So, what I've done after going into American Golf, contemplating spending £80 on a wedge without suddenly realising, what an idiot, don't be stupid. So what I did, I got online, I've looked around and I saw a review of one out of Decathlon, which was about, I think it was £30. It got a good review on, on YouTube, so I thought, well, you know, why not? Fortunately, didn't have any. So the next option, to this one here. I don't know if you'll see it. Might be upside down that. Hang on a second. No, you're not going to see it. I'll do a close up of it shortly. Um, I've gone for a Wilson harmonised 60 degree with something on it. A 10, 10 bounce or whatever that means. No idea. Just a golf club. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do a few shots over this bunker, onto the green. What happens, how far away the pin they are, how far away they are, and whether you need to spend £80 on a wedge when a cheap one will do exactly the same thing. So let's see how we get on. We'll hit, we'll hit five balls from the rough and we'll see where they land. Right guys, we're 28 yards away. We've got a bunker and a green which slopes downwards. We've got five balls. Let's see if it does what it says on the tin. Right, the last one we towed, but considering. So this is what we were over. So that's what we're going over the bunker. Oops, it is it. So we got over the bunker, and I'll tell you what, I'd be happy with these. Whether you would, I don't know. I'll just got you a span of where they are. Right guys, you see how they've landed there. What I'll do now is we're going to hit the same five balls again. I'm going to put the camera on the green and hopefully show you how they land and spin or whatever. We hope.
Right guys, so what I've done then is I've just hit the same five balls with the camera on the green just to see you can see how they bounce or they roll on. I forgot to bring the GoPro with me. So as you can see, there's four on the green. I mean, I'd be happy with them. Um, I'd be very, oh, I'd be very happy with them, whether you will be or not. So it's a thirty-pound wedge, sixty degree. Going to do exactly the same as a eighty-pound wedge. Comments below. What do you think? Does it do what it says on the tin, or do you need to go out and spend silly money on buying? A Vokey or a Cleveland or something in that vicinity. Um, we shall do the same. Might last a bit longer, who knows? But you know, if you clean your clubs, everything lasts longer. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, let me know what you think, what wedge you've got, whether you think you've upgrading, um, or if I just inspired you to have a look around to see what there is. So, this one I've got was is a Wilson harmonized. Um, 60 with a 10 bounce or whatever that means there is you can buy them new on eBay I will sit the link sorry on eBay sorry to get it correctly you can buy them new on Amazon from I think it's something golf but I can't remember the name off the top of my head but um, yeah so what you think thanks for watching catch you soon laters there's a fire burning out on the street, I can't bear the seat.